All right, in this video, let's learn about dynamic routes with React Router. Let's assume we are building an admin dashboard and we need a user listing and details page. If the user navigates to slash users, we should display a list of three users. However, in addition to this, if the user navigates to slash users followed by the ID of that user, we need to display details about that individual user. For example, if the user navigates to slash users slash one, we should display details about the first user. Similarly, if the user navigates to slash users slash two, we need to display details about the second user and slash users slash three, we need to display details about the third user. Let's understand how to achieve this with React Router. I'm going to begin by creating a new file in the components folder, users.js. Within the file, let's define a component that displays a list of three users. So component name is users. I'm going to add three h2 tags for user one, two, and three. Now let's configure a route for this component. In app.js, add a new route where the path prop is going to be equal to users and element is going to be equal to the users component that we have just defined. Make sure to import the component at the top. If you now head back to the browser and type in localhost 3000 slash users, we see the list of users as expected. Our listing page has been implemented. Next, let's focus on the details page. We know that we need a details view for the user. So let's create a new component. Within the components folder, a new file called userdetails.js. Within the file, I'm going to create a component that renders the text details about user. This same component has to be rendered for three different URLs, slash users slash one, slash users slash two, and slash users slash three. Let's add the routes in app.js. Route component path is equal to slash users slash one, and element is equal to user details. Make sure to import the component at the top. Similarly, we're going to have two more routes for slash users slash two and slash users slash three. If you now head to the browser and navigate to slash users slash one, we see the user details page. Same is the case with slash users slash two and slash users slash three. Now this works, but you might have guessed already that this is not a feasible solution. If we had 100 users, we would need to configure a hundred different routes. The correct solution is to use dynamic route segments. For our scenario, the user ID which can be one, two, three, and so on, should be a dynamic value. And for such a value, we specify what is termed as a URL param in React Router. So instead of users slash one, we specify users slash colon user ID. And we can get rid of the other two routes. This user ID param will match any value as long as the pattern is the same. That is, the URL in the browser is slash users slash any value. If we head back to the browser and navigate to slash users slash one, we see the user details page. It works for slash two, slash three, and even slash 100. So when you have to work with list and detail routes, dynamic routes are what you need. Now there is one point that I would like you to make note of. 
The user ID can be any string and not just a number. So in the browser, I could type slash users slash admin and it would render the same page. But it might so happen that apart from this dynamic route we have configured, we would also need a fixed path. So in the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called admin.js. Within the file, I'm going to define and export a simple component. The component name is admin. And we're going to return some text, admin user. In the routes config, I'm going to add another route. Route path is equal to users slash admin. And element is going to be equal to the admin component we have just defined. Make sure to import the component at the top. And the question to you is, if we navigate to users slash admin, will the user details page be rendered or the admin page render? Let's head to the browser and find out. So localhost 3000 slash users slash admin. And you can see that the JSX from the admin component is rendered. This is something I want you to keep in mind. Even though we have a dynamic route where the user ID can be anything, React Router is smart enough to first match the route that is more specific. So if you navigate to users slash admin, React Router will first try to find a matching route. Only if that is not found, will it match the dynamic route. All right, the last bit I want to mention here is that dynamic routes can be nested as well. Since the two routes we have just configured have users as the prefix, we can nest them. Of course, the child component would be rendered within the parent component. So the user's parent route will now have opening and closing tags. And the two routes are nested inside. From the path prop though, we need to remove users. Finally, in the users component, we need to add the outlet component for rendering the child. So import outlet from React Router DOM and invoke it below the list of users. Take a look at the browser and our nested dynamic route is working as expected. Slash users slash admin. So admin component is rendered slash users slash one and the user details component is rendered. All right, let me quickly summarize the takeaway points from this video. First, when dealing with a list detail pattern or if the route parameter can vary in value, make use of dynamic routes. Specify the URL param denoted by a colon prefix in the path. Second point, React Router will always try to match the route that is more specific before trying to match a dynamic route. So slash admin before slash user ID. Third, it is possible to have nested dynamic routes. Hopefully, this video has given you a good amount of information on dynamic routes. As an exercise, I want you to convert the list of users into links and navigate to the appropriate URL on click of the link. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.